Welcome back to Anderson's TV. This is a new challenge, Mr. Rabir. We've never done this before. No, um, so... it's the first time I've ever had a blindfold on. <laughs> well, you say that. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a Guess the Celebrity Guitar challenge. And you are going to have uh, a couple of minutes on each guitar to play it, get the sounds, get the vibe a bit. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have a period of time during which we're going to play the yes, no game. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of that, you have to guess which celebrity guitar player the guitar is associated with. So oh it could be, a, it's, it, in some shape or form, all of these guitars are associated with a guitar player. I'm just gonna lose this. So well, you say that, I mean, who knows? So, guitar number one, Mr. Rabir, is coming in now. Thanks. I will deactivate your tuner. So we will start now a four minute countdown. You can use that four minutes however you want to. You can play a bit and ask questions, whatever. But I can only say yes and no. Oh man, how am I? It's a strap, but it's got a 70s headstock. Feels like it. Okay, so there's no other switching on it. Why is the delay so slow? Oh, give the bottom right button a tap like faster, it's tap tempo. I mean, how am I even gonna... So it's a, it's, 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 no it's, it's, it's a, oh right, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that, okay. It's a modern Strat for a start because it's got the heel carved thing differently. Is it smaller than a normal Strat? No. It's exactly the same size as a normal Strat? Yes. Is it associated with a funk guitarist? Yes. Was that funk guitarist in Wolfpack? No. Does this funk guitarist wear sunglasses? Yes. Does he have dreadlocks? No. It's two minutes up. You've got another two minutes to go. You oh, can either man. play it some more or... Well, I don't know why I was trying to look at it then. But... <laughs> <laughs> what? It's <was> brilliant. <laughs> it's got a spoon cut on the back. It's got access. You said it's a funk guitarist. Is it a modern funk guitarist? Yes. Like... I mean, I know it's only supposed to be the yes, no game. He is a, I would say he's a funk artist. Funk artist? Modern funk artist. Current funk artist. Current funk artist. Will I, do I know him? Oh, everybody knows him. Or her. Oh, is it a woman? No. <laughs> I just thought Are I... they still alive? Yes. Are they in the charts? Regularly. Regularly? Yes. I don't know how recently, but... Funk artist in the charts regularly, plays a strat. Oh man, I have no idea. Okay, you've got 60 seconds, you're going to have to say anyone that you can think of. Okay, Nile Rogers. Okay. No, because he doesn't have dreadlocks. And I've already told you it isn't Nile Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> 15 seconds. I have no idea. Going with Nile Rogers, are we? Even though we know it's not right. Come Cor on, just name any other guitar Cor player. Corey Wong. I've already told you it's not him as well. Oh you've got God. five seconds. Come on, Do anyone. You, uh, I, I don't know. I can't think of anyone. Uh, uh. Well, that's really hard. Yeah, it was harsh that one, wasn't it? Let's, yeah, because uh... it's just a strat, like <laughs> nothing to go on. <laughs> to be fair. I and I don't keep up to date with the charts. Let's this go is... over here. Coming in. Coming in. What? Ibanez. Ooh. It's an AT model. I feel like it's an AT model because the neck's fat. Five way, humbucker, humbucker, two humbuckers. Oh man. Some gain? Why not? Oh, 
Um, oh. There's no scratch plate on it. Correct. It's got a trim. The neck's quite fat. I will let you, you were right though, it is an Ibanez. Yeah, I know. No, definitely, that's yeah. definitely an Ibanez, that. It's, is it a Tim Henson? Are you asking, is it a Tim Henson? Yeah. Are we going with that's your answer? No, it's a yes or no question. But then if I tell you yes, then that's the end of the round. Yes, it's Tim Henson. Okay. I, to be fair, what, where else am I going to go with that? Uh, well <laughs> done, Mr. Rabir. Well, I'm like, there's no scratch plate on it. It's two humbuckers. I'm surprised at how fat the neck is, if I'm honest. I didn't think he'd play with such a fat neck, but you know, there fair you go. enough. Cheers, Tim. <laughs> there's no way for me to tell uh, about the madness inlays either, so. Right. Wait, let me just play. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Numero trois. Okay, you know, I'm quite, okay, we're uh, back on track. Here we go, okay, here we go. Okay. Right, first things first. Okay, Stop. this is an SG. It feels like another fat neck. Oh wait, it's got a whammy bar even. Okay, first question, mm. before I even make a sound. Is this, does this guitar cost over two grand? No. Okay. Is there a version of it that does? Yes. Okay. Is it a Tony Iommi SG? No. Oh. I kind of feel like this is it. If you're going to name names and I've got to say yes or no, it changes the... <laughs> I'm the, trying the easy way. No, it's fine. That, I think that we'll have to have a mid-game rule change there that you are allowed to just shout out artist names and see what you get. Actually, no, I'm taking that back. I'm not, you can't shout out artist names. No, you've just got to keep asking about. Okay, until. The, until it until gets to the point where yeah. you go, I definitively think it's X. Okay. I need to check if it can play this easily. Okay, it's really hard to play <laughs> with a blindfold on. Can I have more of a game? Yeah, I don't remember Angus Young having an SG with a trem on it. Just no. Just saying, throwing that little help. Gonna, it's an SG. No points for that, I'm afraid. It's an Epiphone. No, wait. It's a Gibson. Is it a Gibson? <laughs> or are Epiphone now just using the Gibson correct? Oh, no, card? don't even do that to me. Is it a Gibson? No. It's an Epiphone, right? Yes. Okay, good. Is the guitarist that it's associated with still alive? Yes. Is the guitarist associated with still playing in bands to this day? Oh, yes. Is the guitarist associated with popular? Yes. Are they Australian? No. Are they British? No. Okay, so that leaves... Are they American? Yes. Okay. Are they in a heavy band? Not heavy in the way you would describe heavy. Are they in the charts? Um, not the pop charts, no. Uh, do I know who it is? 100%. All guitarists know who it is. Pick genres. Rock. No. Blues. Yes. Blues. Blues SG. Uh, but I definitely know who it is. A hundred percent. Like, have I met them before? Um, don't think so. There's your four minutes up, so I'm just going to need an answer. Is it uh, Gary Clark Jr.? Gary Clark Jr. We'll write that down as your answer. He does indeed play SGs, so it could be him. I mean, he's, does he play SGs? He certainly, I'm sure I've seen him play an SG. But... There we are. Excellent. Okay. This is, this, is a, this is a train wreck, guys. It's not a train wreck. This is great. Number four. Right, five way. Oh, what is that? What headstock is this? The neck, rounded edges, satin finish, covered pickups. That's a trim. Wait, are you having a laugh here? <laughs> you are having a laugh here. I know who this guitar is. 
It's my guitar. Damn you! Right, there we are. That was any, <laughs> I just threw that one in there because we just... That, <laughs> I thought that was going to be absolutely hilarious when you're feeling the headstock going, what's this? I've got no idea. It feels completely different without seeing it. That guitar. Isn't that the weirdest thing though about all guitars? Yeah. Oh my God, um, this is huge. Oh, well, let's just go to a clean sound, I think. Epiphone. It's a Sheraton. It's not in tune. That's my fault. Oh, oh my, my god. god. All right, anyway, I'm messing around now. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't uh, from that <laughs> band. Okay, so it's, it's uh, I feel like it's a Sheraton. Is it a Sheraton? No. It's not? No. Is it a casino? No. And it's not one of those ones with the little E on the scratch plate either. And it doesn't have the, the, the extra um, pickup thing like the BB King. Is it the B? No, not the BB oh, King. See, yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, it's not, and it's not the James Bay one because that has an E on it. It's not a Gibson. It's not a Gibson. Okay. I can confirm it's is not it a Gibson. Is it an Epiphone? Yes, it is. Okay. The artist is associated with famous in today's music scene. Yes. Still alive. Yes. Obviously, if they're famous in today's music scene. Are they in an indie rock band? Yes. Are they British? Yes. Do I like them? Uh, I don't know that we've ever had a conversation about it. It's, uh, but I they're mean, British. Are they, are, are they, are they associated I mean, with Oasis? They might be. Yes. Is it Noel Gallagher's signature guitar? Is that, is that your final answer? Yeah. Before, okay. Is it that Union Jack horrid thing? <laughs> that was a Sheraton, I think, from memory. So anyway, we're just saying it's a Noel Gallagher is the artist behind that is your... Is your uh, yes, that's my final, final answer. answer. Uh, and then we've got one more guitar to go and we'll reveal. Is this a, a, for the comment section, is this a challenge you'd like to see repeated? Or is this basically- It's good, but it's hard. I can't it, lie to you, it's hard. I kind of feel it's very, uh, here you go. I think it's very important that we choose the right guitars for this. Well, this is a Gibson. Wait, this is a Les Paul, clearly. That feels like a Gibson headstock. And if I go like this, it's a Peter Green, it's a Greeny. Is that your final? You only need fi not even 15 seconds, the world record for that. Yeah, but you? listen, it's got that in-between sound. Which is, which is the Peter Green thing. Are you saying you think it's a, a Gibson, Peter Green, Les Paul? Well, that's hard to say. Okay, is it an Epiphone? Well, then I've just told you the <laughs> Yes. It is an Epiphone. So it's the Epiphone Peter Green. Okay, but you, for, to get full maximum points on this, you have to also name the other artist. Kirk whose name. Oh, damn it. I thought I was going to throw you there. Okay, <laughs> fine. There you are. This may or may not be the first and last episode of Can <laughs> Revere Guess the Signature Artist. I'm not sure how funny that was. But anyway, you can, uh, let me take that guitar back and we'll see how many guitars out of six you in fact got right. Can I uh, so, unsheath? Yes. So, this was guitar number one. Can you even tell whose it is before you? No idea. You don't even know whose it is now, you can see it. No. Does it say anywhere on the guitar, actually, who's it? I have absolutely no idea. Do you know, it doesn't even say on the guitar, which is respect, because normally is the artists want their name on it. This is Bruno Mars, signature oh. strap. Oh, yeah, I knew he had a signature strap. Do you know, I've not even played this before. I didn't realise it had the neck carve and all. It's a nice guitar. Not bad. Super cool colour. Wait, that's a, is that like a custom shop? No, it's um, like the same series that American Original would be. Uh, but it is the only non-custom shop guitar that they do with the sort of relic, you know, sort of finishing. Right, Or the, okay. the lacquer checking, nice. anyway. So. Not bad. Second, Tim Henson. You got that pretty quick. What was it that sort of gave away? 
I think because I knew that it was the, like the A, Z, whatever you would call it. Yeah. So I could tell that, but then because there's usually a pit guard on them. And then I was like, it, and then I just thought, yeah, it has to be the Tim Henson one because it's double humbucker and. And what is it that gives it away as an Ibanez as opposed to, you know, it could be a Charvel. The or headstock. Just the head, because I thought you said Ibanez even before you touched the headstock. No, no, I did that and yeah. went Ibanez. Okay. Fair enough. This was next. You said Gary Clark Jr. It was, in fact, Joe Bonamassa. I didn't know he had a signature SG. He's got a signature everything, Joe Bonamassa. Yeah, to be that's fair. a bit of an unfair one, but, you know, go on. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfair. If he's got a signature everything, I don't know who's that belongs yes. to. It looks terrible. Terrible, anyway. absolutely awful guitarist, that one is. I don't know how that got in there. Uh, and you were correct. I didn't, wasn't sure you'd get, you got Noel Gallagher pretty quick, to be fair. And there's a lots of, you know, lots of people with um, semi-acoustic guitars. I suppose, again, once you know it's an Epiphone, you've narrowed down a bit. That could have been a Gary Clark Jr. I'm sure. But the E thing on that is on the, I know on the James Bay one, it's like uh, embossed or whatever Do you know you call what? It? I don't know when they stopped and started, because it is actually, if you're, it is slightly embossed if you put your finger over there, oh, yeah, but I know what absolutely. you mean, it's much more raised. It's almost like an, a badge, isn't it, yeah. on, um, on some of them. And then, yes, the one that was amazing, but it took you less than 15 seconds, and as soon as you went to that uh, middle position there, you just went, it's the greeny, which is, there you go. I suppose that's why the greeny sound is so famous. I'll be honest, though, I think, I knew immediately when I played it that it wasn't Gibson because the fretboard feels not as nice. No. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is, I mean, so Epiphone are... And it feels like affordable lacquer. It is. So they're, they're not, it's, it's um, they call it their Epiphone aged finish. And it is like a rubbed down polyurethane. You know, it's not a nitro finish on these. But it is uh, Gibson pickups uh, and they are now doing the get the proper gibson headstock which is what threw you and they are of course about a third of the price of a gibson do you know what's funny i don't like the headstock with epiphone on the top it looks weird isn't that weird and yet for yeah. years and years all everybody wanted was epiphone to it looks stop wrong using the their own headstock on the les paul copy it looks wrong there you are gibson <laughs> change it back <laughs> <laughs> so there you are thank you very much uh, Rabir I enjoyed um, that there should have been at least another five guitars or something well you told us that six was too many before I thought we it was, got but started then the more I played I was like I want this to keep going alright well, well next time next time yeah. we'll, we'll do it again alright thank you for watching see you next time